Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, no, most of these fish have spawned already. Some might be on beds. I'm not sure yet. A lot of them are post-spawn. We had some that had rubs that were still bedding. So, you know, the bite is a little so-so. We're covering a lot of water. But, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, we got a, an array of baits that we'll use this time of the year. And uh, uh, they're all rigged on different rods for different purposes. But you know what I want to, whoa, whoa, what I want to talk about for a second? Fishing line. Everybody's interested in fishing line, right? Let's talk about the three main things because uh, there's a reason why we use mono, a reason why we use floral, there's a reason why we use braid, and there's a reason why braid and floral is used on different presentations. Let me explain. What's my favorite line? That is one of the most often asked questions we get, and honestly, there's no right or wrong answer. Line can be a very complex subject, so I just want to break it down to the basics, something easy to understand. One is braid, which has no stretch. Fluorocarbon, which has minimal amount of stretch and is almost invisible underwater. And then there's monofilament, which has the most stretch of all. Now, like I said, we're rigged with many rods for this pre-spawn smallmouth fishing, but here's my favorite combo for jerk baiting and a little bit about why we use certain line for some of the presentations we'll be using today. When I'm X wrapping, I like using a six foot, 10 inch, medium power, extra fast action, St. Croix Bass X spinning rod, and a Daiwa 2500 Revro spinning reel, spooled up with Suffolk 10 pound 832 braid, and a four foot shocker of 10 pound test Suffolk fluorocarbon. The braid has no stretch and allows you to get the maximum action from the lure, and the floral shocker is nearly invisible underwater. Now, when we're fishing with a tube on the bottom, that is when floral comes into play. The see-through quality, it sinks, has minimal stretch, and abrasion-resistant characteristics are a perfect complement to a lure that smallmouth get to study up close before striking. Lastly is mono. When we're fishing with the topwater bait, mono is mandatory. The floating characteristics of monofilament are a great attribute to this presentation. Mono keeps the front of the lure up on the top of the water where it needs to be to get the maximum action out of any surface bait. And the stretchy characteristics allow that fish to jump and the line acts like a rubber band, keeping constant pressure on the fish and you don't tear the hooks out as easy. Now these are just examples of the situations where we use the three different line styles and it can be adapted to many different presentations. 